And uh, the little fella, what was his name? A, little, a, a pure genius, he was. He went to Doggins in Grangefield. A little lad. What did he do? He, he, he set up Doggins in Grangefield. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he was an incredible little engineer. Yeah. Like, I got to know him terribly well. And I have to thank, and I thank him in, 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 in when they're all dead and gone now. Because of them, I, I started my business. They allowed me to go in there at night, into their place. When they were stopped working at six o'clock, I went in after that, after my oh, working in my other job. And they allowed me to work the welders there as long as I wanted. They made our machines to, to rivet and everything. Oh. Oh, what, what, was, what was the little fellow's name? Um, Larry. No, no, it wasn't Larry. Larry the little, little fellow was the genius. Larry, Larry. But anyway. Jimmy, was it? Who? Jimmy, because a brother of mine walked around. He used to bring me brother to walk. He used to live where it was That's there. where I, I can't. I, I know I'm not thinking of where, where did I know that. But that's, I know exactly now where, where I know he is now. Because I remember, the, I remember the brother walking in it. Yeah. No. They also made a frame around their grave out in, in the graveyard out there. They had iron works, a small, from olden times. And that's chicken feet, you know. They were great. Look at that right bacon powder, I remember that. Look at that. Use it. Again, you can see the holes. Uh, <coughs> Australian. What's that? What's that? Yeah. Must be a type of uh, chicken or something. It's not wine. Hardly, hardly even chicken. Turner. Wasn't was Turner? That's Turner. I always thought Turner was down in the middle of Tungay Street, was it not? I think it's a wine. Hmm? It's a wine. I have no idea. Well, what does it say on there? No, what time is that? Two teapots. Six pigs. That's you. And then... Um, no, I don't know. I think there's burgundy shuttles in the world. Yeah, well, they're eating in Hamburg. No. Anyone know where that was? I think that was somewhere up the middle of Tungate Street there, or opposite, um, do you know where the cafe was? Like I got letters um, from, coming from the uh, Mead County Council and the address was the cafe, it's to be sent around. So there must be someone staying in digs in the cafe. Do you remember what they called it there? In the, the, the nearly the opposite post office there, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah, it's somewhere around there, I said. Mm. The, the gem cafe as well. Yeah. And that was the whole time. Yeah. I'm, I'm testing that. Now, the reason I gave... No, go, go. Yeah. go back to that. <laughs> now, that's a big long one. And the reason... That's 1816. <coughs> that wasn't on this. But the reason I put this here... Something to do with, nothing to do with that. <laughs> but... Seven pound of carbonic salt. It must be, it's another half of that. Oh, yeah. Can yeah. yeah, you get that one? Half, yeah, no. Which one is it? You see, that's, that's, the, that's the first half of it. Mm -hmm. No. no anyway. What, what does it say there? Five pound of tea, 11 shillings. But the whole thing was three pound, twelve and seven pence. And that was a lot of money back in. In, in, uh, yeah. You see, at that time, that's at that time, Richard, what they done was they made that, uh, they never paid, paid off, but that two and nine months or whatever, they didn't pay three and nine months across the counter. This bill was sent out every week or every two weeks. Yeah. And that's what they did. They put all in the road like that. Because <coughs> how I know was, we were down in Calgaraz where my father came from and we were doing up the old house and we found exactly what you have and we thought it was a beehive up on the road. <laughs> <laughs> it was a gist. Yeah. Uh, like this year, it's quite... The very same. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and every shop in Cal's was that. And how I know is because 
bill was paid every three or four weeks, but they never went in and paid money, it was put down in the book. And that was the bill that was set down. You see, I, you always hear me banging on about, you see, you talk to people, and ordinary people, and you be talking to them, and, and, and you know we're talking that they have a story to tell. What they haven't included, they have a story to tell. They, 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 they never seem to take it. I said, what about your story? You know, the story of them growing up, 60, 70 years ago, the story of them all. And every one of them stories is, is well worth recording. I think that's one mistake we're, we're making in the historical slide. It's not a criticism, but it's something that we will address. If we, we don't record any of us. Like, no one has sat down with me, for instance. Yeah. I'd be 86 in a couple of weeks' time. <coughs> but it was time. Just don't look to your right, sir. Sean, when you get through with that fella, he, he's sick. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> just look to your right, ladies and gentlemen. Just, <laughs> right is recording at the moment, so just... <laughs> I have my grands on here. If you meant tonight now to mind me, to make sure that you wouldn't be abusing me. <laughs> Now, welcome, Sean. But, and we have a record. That would be subject to just the you know, DDP or D BBC or DTT or what? Um, it's ever a great punish. You know, you know that. Punish your great and the souls. 1914. Gotterms. You know where that was? You're too old, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing, and then go back to the 1960s. We used to have anglers. I was a member of the Alpha Anglers at the time. And we'd, always, we'd have competition on the river, and we always went in there to, have, to wear fish or trout after. Peter Garner. They were a relation of mine, far back, uh, Richie. Were they? Garns, yeah, they did undertakers as well. Yeah. They were undertakers and a grocery shop. Now, that's my job. I put that in. Everyone knows Patrick Smith. And they're one of the oldest firms. Do you go back to well into the 1800s, 1850, 1840, they've all the records. Um, John Harrington, you know John Harrington, I know John. Well, but that's 1905. Uh, the Bible of Black Water Mills. Um, I think that's um, that's private. Uh, that's 19. That's 1882, I think, is it? Yeah. Yeah, 82. Um, Cass County, Abbey Road. Do you remember Michael Connor? He made all the he made guards uniforms and he made all that kind of stuff, high class stuff. Um, and that's where I started his business down in Abbey Road and give you Fergus Callan, wasn't it? Yeah? Yeah. That's right. Um, but it, it was Fergus Callan and Michael's father that set up um, <coughs> Castle Cloney. Um Hillard, Huey Hillard. Um, he was born out of out of Nabon Street, Um Street. It, it, it's a blank one now. I happen to get it off uh, of Huey's uh, daughter two years ago. Go ahead. I've only got the two hundred. Are you okay for it? <laughs> <laughs> I was in a hurry home. <laughs> the Meat Chronicle, nineteen eighty. Now, the Meat Chronicle. And not printing books. Were they all one, I wonder? Yes. Was it all one? Yeah. And why the separation of the, of the names, I wonder? Two separate companies. Two separate companies, yeah. What year was that, Richard? One of the papers. 1918, that one. That one there is. 1918. Two of them. Send me a printing. If you look at that there, there's. 110 of that, 21 of that. They're all the, all the books, he, he, all the invite books that he used to have. Uh, I'm holding this one. Um, he would get them printed there. He, he had everyone, ones for, because they were bailing hay, hay during the First World War. 
and he was all over the country. And so they had to have a proper list done out with all the diff all the bales had done, and then he was trashing cordon and all the barrels of cordon that was that was done as well. Um, okay, go ahead. Well, into the state. Now the reason for that in there. Or do you worry about the other reason? He was involved in everything that moved. <laughs> and that immediately the tenant of the road. That was now going back to nineteen oh six. The Window Act. Remember the Window Act? None of you doesn't remember, but there's no more the Window Act, 1906. Um, and that goes back to that time, and there were obviously the, the, all the tenants that was on the estate were coming together looking for their slices of bed. Yeah. You see, at, at those times, uh, a lot of farmers had the land already leased up the uh, Belinda. But <coughs> I got very friendly with, you often heard of George Briscoe. Yeah. George Briscoe. Um, Hmm? Yeah. He wrote two books, his autobiography. He did. Yeah. Oh, he was happy with home. If you got, yeah, he was great. If you got to know him, he was a, he was a gas character. Yeah. Um, but he used to always come down to my mother's uh, farm to shoot. <coughs> and he'd be in two black Labradors shooting, uh, shooting um, snipe. That was his favourite snipe. But I got to personally know him then after a number of years. And he brought me in that he, he lived in Craigstown, but he sold Belinford. He went, moved to Craigstown, which is a bit there. And he showed me this. The whole, the whole estate, going back to 1850, there was, there was 8,500 acres in the Belinger estate. And this was done, it was done by um, a topographer, I don't, can't think of his name, but done in 1810. And he gave me permission to bring it away, gave me permission to photograph it. I got James Carney to photograph it. It's that size, by that by that tick, apps all in colour, beautiful. Like I was hoping I might, I might be able to get it, get it printed, but I don't know what that would cost, but it's, it's well worth, well worth getting it done, beautiful. But, Norwood Bakery, everyone knows that. Yeah. Um, the Mead, County Mead and Country Society, Dairy Court. Uh, yeah, that was actually, look at, second, second prize, won by Maud Murray for dairy. Dairy 